All right, so what are we doing today? Today is Doug's first day in the game. So I figured it would be fun to unlock Doug, max him all the way out, because I do plan on rank 25-ing him. I don't know if it's gonna be possible, but I'm gonna give it the good old college try. But we're not doing the rank 25 today. We're just gonna do initial push, and I'll give you guys my thoughts as we go through the entire thing. So let's jump over into Brawl Stars, and we're gonna claim Doug. Now, I have Doug. Well, I don't have Doug yet, but I have plenty of credit saved up to unlock Doug. Um, if we go back into my previous seasons. So it takes me right back to the RT season and I got a ton of credits saved up here. So we're just gonna claim all of these. And there we go. Easy, free Doug, free 99. This is why you save all of your credits for when Brawlers drop. This is why you don't claim them for fame because when Brawlers come out, you can get them day one. If you have all the Brawlers, don't be wasting it on fame. Get your brawler on day one. A few moments later. We're gonna need, that's power 11. That's maxed out. <laughs> Bro, boys, I'm stupid. I for, Why did I think 12 was an option? <laughs> All right, so we got him to power 11. We just gotta find him here in the map now. Uh, there he is right there. Uh, we will buy, now as far as gadget and star power, I'm gonna buy the damage star <laughs> power, which is, uh next attack only heals i'm gonna buy extra mustard i think that that's gonna be the best for getting more kills and stuff like that and then as far as star power i'm gonna get uh the one that heals him and they're saying i don't have enough points so we need to go get a bunch more points so back to the club shop all right uh self-service then for gears we're gonna get damage and then, um, so here's the thing is that this map today is not good for speed, but speed will be better on some of his other maps. So I think I'm just going to get speed for the time being and just live with my, live my life because I think he's going to be better on maps where he can benefit from speed. So that's my Doug now. And I had just enough coins to get him done. Bruh. So we're going to jump into some games. We're going to enjoy Doug and we will figure out how we like him so much. So let's get into it. I'm just gonna be big and try to push people back. Bum, 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 bum. Let's go, let's get it. Not too bad so far. So I think I'm gonna go real aggro. Use my hot dog. And that is a win. Not bad, not bad. The aggro with the hot dog is a good strategy because it makes it so that even if they do focus fire you, um, you're still gonna revive and you can still have a chance to mess them up. Hello there. Yeah, that gadget's nasty, bro. That gadget's nasty. Hot dog, baby. Yo, people are saying the hot dog's har hard to use? Or it wasn't gonna do anything? Look at this, double hot dog, baby. Move the ball up to me. How many times do I gotta do this? Boys, boys, come on. The fact that I was in front of that goal for so long and nobody tried to get me the ball, atrocious. <laughs> 4K damage. That was 3,700, easy. I don't know, man. I don't I don't know if I can call him the worst brawler in the game. <laughs> He's not that bad. Hank is definitely still worse. What the hell? Come on, man. Look at this. Triple Dugs? That's not fair. Triple Dugs? What are we going to do? Hit him with the extra mustard? He's going to hot dog. Yes, hot dog. Woo. Damn it. <laughs> Bro, triple dugs is toxic. How are we ever going to kill any of them? They are, they're all going to hot dog themselves and each other. Here, bro. Oh, no. There goes my hot dog. I threw my hot dog on the ground. Woo! 
He hot dogged. No. He hot dogged for his life. Bro, this is so toxic. We can't kill any of them. They're just monsters. They're just unkillable. They're undead. We have one dog. They have three. This is the cheesiest shit I've ever seen in my life. This is not supposed to happen. This is the type of gameplay that's supposed to be denied by the developers. They said that this is not supposed to happen. And they said it themselves that they didn't want these types of comps. And look what happens. I don't know how he does against Buster. Let's find out. Against Poco, I think this is going to be an annoying matchup, but I definitely think I can handle it. Easy. Wait, isn't isn't Meg's Max supposed to have reduced healing, or did they change that? Did they change that, or is Meg's mech not supposed to... I mean, that was that's a nasty combo. Sticking with your Meg and just healing her up so she doesn't get knocked out of it is a nasty combination. Yeah, I think, I think the one thing you need to remember when you play Doug is make sure you're healing your teammates, too. It's very easy to want to go super aggro, use your hot dog, and make sure that you're the one... Or and, and like try to get try to be the one getting all the kills, but I think it's very hard to remember to back off and hang out with your teammates and let them do the work at the range. So like if I hang out with Meg here, I'm gonna be ineffective till they start moving into our zone. But I can keep her topped off so she doesn't get knocked out of her out of her mech early on. See what I mean? Like, I feel like that's a super effective strategy. Just hang out with your ranger, and whenever they get poke damage, you heal them up. Of course, obviously, don't get deleted by the uh, Mandy supers that are flying in from nowhere. You gotta kind of just, we kind of had to be a defensive wall here, but this shows that I am getting a little bit better with him, I think. Super, super. Oh my god, guys, please throw the ball with some passion. Please. Please. There we go. Oh, dear lord. No teammates? Perfectly fine with that because I used my hot dog. I have no HP. I can heal from the other side of the wall. Let's get it. I don't think he can stop it. Yeah, he can't stop it. <laughs> he could have got a super and pulled me in, which would have been unfortunate, but it didn't work out that way. That's not what happened. Don't tell me. Oh, come on. You'll see Cordelia's in every three games. Yeah, I know. We got another big bomb coming. I'm moving up. I'm moving up. Woo! Let's get it! Woo! 
Hey, what's up, Jam Fam? So I wrapped up stream right around 220 trophies. I didn't want to go all the way up to 500 or 750 or anything crazy like that, just because I don't have all the time in the world and I wanted to edit this video. So uh, today I just want to go over my final thoughts about Doug on day one, my first impressions and what I think about him overall. So first off, I really like Doug. I think he's a great brawler. I really like his personality and I really enjoy his kit, even though it's very basic and it's not the most flashy, exciting kit in the world. I think it's a lot of fun to play. And he's another one of those brawlers that you play when you want to untilt. So like kind of like Jack where you don't really need to focus on like aiming or anything like that it really it's really matters about like positioning and keeping ball position and stuff like that so i think that's a very nice brawler to have in the game and the fact that he's more of a support is really nice too now a lot of people were saying he was going to be the worst brawler in the entire game and i kind of understand where they were coming from with that but i don't think it's entirely true i still think like hank is a lot worse than doug i think doug has a lot of versatility in his kit that makes him very viable but of course he does have a lot of limitations you're not going to want to play him on every match and mode stuff like bounty and knockout he's definitely going to struggle and if you go against long range brawlers he doesn't really have any mobility or anything to help get in his face so i can understand in those regards why you would say he's kind of weak but i think people were definitely sleeping on his ability to heal um at one point in the push as you guys saw I, we figured out a strategy where uh doug can just pocket a meg and let her do all the work while he just keeps her topped off and then when enemies try to crunch down or you guys crunch down on enemies he can just dominate at that point so stuff like that is going to be like doug's forte almost like poco but better because doug can do a lot more work on his own as opposed to just poco doing 900 damage so i really like doug for those types of situations so in maps where he can do that it's definitely going to benefit him a lot i also think people kind of underestimated how good a super actually was going to be they said the two second timer was going to be a big problem but if you're going aggro and you pop that super right as you get in people's face you're going to respawn very easily and you're going to have a couple shots to unload on them and it's just a lot to deal with and uh there's actually a match where we played three dugs it was impossible possible to kill any of them it was extremely toxic and i think that match just highlights how good doug super actually can be when it's used in the right situation obviously three dogs isn't gonna happen all the time but i think that's like an extreme case of like what can happen so like i said in my last video i do want to push doug to rank 25 and i was a little worried about it when people were saying he was going to be the worst brawler in the game but after pushing him a little bit myself i feel like it's definitely possible so i'm definitely going to be working on that over the course of the next week or two so keep an eye out for that i am going to try to stream a couple more doug playing sessions too as as well so keep an eye out for those but if you made it this far in the video make sure you leave a like on it and if you're new consider dropping a sub as well but with all that out of the way i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace